Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody. It really is important please that you take whatever's good for you and just you know leave the rest of it aside. Now if however you would like to come and join me maybe into a live reading. I do a live reading every single night from 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time all the way till midnight. So please if you do wish to come and join us please do come and see us. Also um, if you have not yet clicked onto that like button or onto that subscribe button please do so and show your support to the channel and I do thank you so very much so let's start this reading right away this is a reading for the beautiful sign of Libra love October 2021 we are working here with three different decks so I have here fortune telling cards we're going to dibble dabble into a little bit of a Lenormand and we're going to move on over to some tarot so let's start with some fortune telling cards so Spirit, please do reveal to me what Libra has to look forward to. What is going on into the month of October in love for the beautiful sign of Libra? Let's go for it. What do we have? We have the griffin. We have the black cat. We also have the maiden. I have the hourglass. I have the wizard and I have the moon. All right. I feel like something important is going to be happening within your relationship. I'm going to go and check it out within the two other decks in just a few moments. First of all, I'd like to say that throughout the month of October, no matter what it is I'm going to tell you into the following minutes, I want you to remember how lucky you are to have um, the people that you have into your life, to have that love into your life. And this is what I'm seeing over here with the griffin. Other than that, I feel like your luck. If you feel like things aren't going all that well, and I kind of feel like this is what's going on a little bit here. We're not all that happy about our love life. We feel like not everything is really going the way that we would like it to onto that path. You do need to know that you know what? With a black cat here, your luck is soon going to change. Uh, but we're speaking here about going from bad luck all the way to good luck. So if you've had anything negative kind of go around, if you've had anything that hasn't been all that great, need to know that things are going to get better for you. Okay, so this is truly about that, your luck, how your luck is going to change. I feel that your relationship is going to blossom. I feel like it's going to move on forward. It's going to move on forward from a little bit of a period of darkness. I said your luck is going to change, so it's not going all that well right now. But you need to know that you are definitely going to be guided over here with the moon. You are guided by spirit and angels. You are guided to find that light, to find that path, to find where it is that you should be into your relationship right now. Where is it that you are comfortable? This is where you need to be guided. You need to be guided to know to stand into your own shoes, to stand your ground, to stand your truth, to stand by your opinions and stand by your feelings. That being said, this is going to bring you new beginnings within the relationship. By standing your ground, by expressing how you feel, you are going to be able to unlock some doors that were previously locked. You're going to be able to bring that happiness back into the relationship. You're going to be able to see once again that path that you wish to follow. Also, I do have to say that, you know, let's not waste too much time with all of this talking, with all of this figuring out. This is about how time is absolutely of the essence. So, um, you know, something is wrong, something's not right, let's not wait two days, let's not wait a week or even a month or it doesn't matter. Why wait? This is about contacting your partner right away and seeing what exactly is wrong, what is not right and what can we do to make things better. But time is of the essence, of course, because we don't want anybody leaving. We don't want anything bad happening. So very important you know, to keep that in mind. Other than that, I feel like you have a lot of beautiful skills. I feel like um, I feel like you're quite compassionate. I do feel like you do have a certain amount of tolerance and patience. It could be very important right now to use those skills, but also to move on forward. So this is about not procrastinating, not waiting for your partner to come to you to fix things. Why don't you go to your partner and fix things? This is about moving on forward. When things are not fixing themselves, then sometimes 
We just have to fix them ourselves if we want anything good to come out of here. What do I have within tarot? I have the Nine of Wands. I have the Ten of Swords, followed up by the Five of Swords. I have the Three of Cups, and I'm going to conclude with the Lovers. So, I mean, what a better way to finish this reading, right? I'm going to go to the Lenormand after, so I am not done. But look at this. This is about the Lovers. But... The lovers, it is about love, it is, but it's also about decisions. It's about those decisions. Now, I feel that what I told you, that time is of the essence over here, it truly is. Time is of the essence. Your partner or you, somebody is tired of all of this. Somebody is tired of waiting. Somebody is tired of fighting. Tired about the whole business of going back and forth, not understanding. This is about rectifying what needs to be fixed before it's too late. Before it's too late, what is too late? Before a third party comes in or before somebody leaves to go with somebody else. This is a danger that is lurking. It is lurking. It is around. It will be untouched if you're able to fix whatever is going on here. So this is also about a certain amount of sadness. We don't want to be sad anymore. We want to move forward. So this is about getting rid of that sadness. This card, we don't want to see it anymore. We don't. We want to heal. We want to move forward. We want to have that love. Let's go and see what the Lenormand has to say for you. Please, Spirit, please, Spirit, give me some guidance for Libra. Please give me some guidance for Libra in love. And here's one guidance. Please, Spirit, give me that guidance. Libra 2021. He's a little bit or she is a little bit upset right now, but they absolutely love you. They're angry. They're angry because they're afraid of losing you. If they're afraid of what has been said or what has been done or what has not been said or done, is going to end. This is about analyzing a situation very closely. And I feel that this is what you must do. You must analyze everything before moving on to make sure that your facts are truly facts. And here we go. Look at that. How beautiful is that? We have the power couple here. We have both partners. Okay. And um, what is important here that I do want you to look at though is that both partners one is looking at the other, but the other one is looking away. So one partner here really wants to fix everything, really wants to move on forward with the partner, with you. And the other one is almost thinking of some kind of exit plan, kind of thinking away, kind of wondering if the grass is greener elsewhere. And you know what? The only thing is going to be about time and this is a second card of time I get within your reading here so time time is of the essence time is going to say what is going to happen within this relationship so this my dear friends Libra does conclude your reading I do hope that you enjoyed. I do hope that it did resonate. If you do have any questions, you would like to come and join me, please do so into a live reading every night from 9 till midnight Eastern Standard Time. Please don't forget to click the subscribe button, the like button. And I do thank you so very much for being there. Many blessings sent your way. And I will see you a little bit later into the reading perhaps.